Welcome to the World Center of Racing. It's time for the first ever multi-class series race here in the Gran Turismo Online League. The Gran Turismo Online League is brought to you by Mets Painting, where improvement is their specialty. And today I'm actually joined in the booth by a different driver, Nicholas Collier. How are you doing today, Nick? Doing great, Miles. Very excited to see the first ever multi-class race here in the Gran Turismo Online League. Yeah, we got the LMP class taking up the first three spots in the grid, and then we got the Group 4 class taking up the last three spots in the grid. So how do you think it's going to be different from a regular race with these two different classes, two races with two different cars going on at once? You know, it's going to be different. You're going to see, uh, you're going to see how these, uh, these drivers operate, especially later in the race when they start, uh, they start packing up again, seeing these, uh, these faster cars trying to find a way uh, to make passes. And uh, you know it's just it's it, it's uncharted territory for the league, so we'll uh, you know we'll, we'll see what happens. And this surely is going to be a very very fun race to watch. Uh, I I mean this this is just a big event. We are taking a couple off uh, off weeks for you know since we got the clash this weekend and then got the Super Bowl next weekend in Daytona. So most likely be running an it's exhibition race or two just to give everyone a little break in case they are out of town for those events. But are you ready to get down to the Mets painting grid walk? Let's get at it. All righty, and I will start us off. Starting on pole position is Rashad Metz. Rashad Metz winning yet another pole here in a car that he has actually never really raced before, but he's been looking forward to this race all week. This is actually a test race for a new series that could be created if this race goes well. So we're going to see how it runs today, and Rashad Metz has been really fast throughout practice and qualifying, so look for that 24 car to be running up front. And rolling off, uh, go ahead, Nick. Yeah, starting off P2, uh, it's going to be Yido Nido in that beautiful 99 livery. Uh, it's relatively fast, keeping up with Rashad pretty well, having a, a little bit of trouble in turn five, uh, especially. Um, looking to, you know, clean up some of the mistakes early on and, you know, look for him at the end. The final car in the LMP class from off P3 is Magic Slinky here in the beautiful number 17 PlayStation car. He's been really fast throughout qualifying and practice, really looking to pick some, pick it up during the race. He knows he can compete with the front three or two drivers, so we look for him to be battling up front later in this thing. Rolling off P1 for the Group 4 cars. It's going to be the 06 of Miles Johnson. Miles Johnson really fast in practice, uh, which kind of, uh, you know, he's been, he's been really working at it uh, for this season. Um, he's never won a road course, so this is a lot of uncharted territory for him. But uh, he's got a fast car. He's got a teammate behind him, so look for him at the end. And speaking of teammates rolling off right behind him is Nicholas Collier and that number 60 machine, that beautiful scheme that he made by himself here today. So look for Nicholas Collier to run toward the front. He's put a lot of practice into this track here this afternoon. Says he's got a fast race car, hoping to learn a lot up, out there on the track and have a lot of friends out there with his friends. So look for the 60 car to be going to the front in the Group 4 class. And rolling off P last in the Group 4 is Demigod. Uh, you know, uh, I believe this is his first race with us in uh, the GTO League, uh, so a lot of unknowns. First time in the BMW, first time uh, really at this track in our league, so a lot to learn. He's got some experienced drivers in front of him. Hopefully he can learn quick. And that's it for your Mets Painting Great Walk. We have six cars. Not the crowd we wanted, but, man, we're going to have a hell of a race here tonight. We got new cars, a new track, and new drivers, so... Let's see what's going to happen here today. This is going to be a fun one to watch as we're ready to get this thing underway. And the lights are out. We're racing the 30 minutes of Daytona. Look at the start by the Group 1 cars versus the BMWs in the back. Rashad Metz out to an early lead, followed, quickly followed by Magic Slinky there in the turn You can already see the Group 1 cars really putting their distance between the Group 4 cars. The, a lot of really, really tight contact there between Johnson and Collier, both hungry for a victory at a road course. Oh, look at these. Look at Rashad Metz trying to make a move on Slinky there for the lead on the infield part of this road course. So now with, with the first time driving these two cars in our league, what are some things you're really been looking for during this race? Man, you just gotta look. These are high down, really fast cars. These are faster than pretty much anything that we've ever driven before. And 
it just a totally new standpoint for these drivers. They've never driven th anything this fast for a league race, and they've never had to really drive this fast around each other. So it's going to be interesting to look at how they learn how to drive in traffic and pass each other. And the LMP class having a good race. And look at Collier and Johnson side by side back here in the Group 4 class. And these two both won't give each other an inch. Johnson, the, the team owner, Collier, the teammate, both incredibly hungry for a victory at a road course. I mean, look at this side by side as we go into the chicane. Ooh, this might not contact. work. Lots of contact. Oh, Collier's going to go around hard into the wall after contact. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, just, you really don't want to be side by side through that chicane. And fortunately, the contact led to a spin by Collier. He's, hopefully, he'll be able to bounce back since it's really early in the race. He, Look at this. One car is lined up. The slinky goes to make a move to the inside of turn one. Some contact there as they get bumped. Rashad Metz got pushed way out wide. Let's see another camera angle on that if we can get one. One thing that we haven't really talked about yet is, look, the sun is setting now on behind this grandstand, so it's going to be nighttime here soon. Ooh, Rashad Metz way oh, off track. And... The sun is going to start to set here at Daytona, and we are going to plunge into the night before we finish the race tomorrow morning. So how do you think these drivers are going to deal with this day-to-night-to-day transition? You know, it's just going to be one of those things that you kind of you just adapt as you go. Um, you know, we, we, like we said before, we've not driven these cars. We've not driven at this track for a lead rate. Um, on top of that, we really haven't driven a lot of night races either. So when you mix all those factors in, it really kind of levels the playing field, and it makes it to where anybody can win. It's just a matter of being at the right place at the right time. It's been a really good battle up here for the front. The last three in the other pack are so a little spread out. But look at this battle for the lead starting to heat up between Javen Tucker and the Magic Slinky. And don't forget Rashad, as he's only a couple seconds behind. Really starting to reel in the front, too, as we go into the Yeah, trying game. to do better after that mistake. Ooh, some almost a little contact there between the top two. And as the three LMP cars are lined up. Meanwhile, the group four cars are spread out a little bit after that first incident. Demigod, in his first ever start, is actually leading that class right now. So a very good start to the race for him as we are battling hard for the lead up the front in the LMPs. So now if you're, you're a driver in the, the, the very first multi-class race for the GTO League, you know, are you are you trying to get out front and make a statement early? Are you trying to stay back towards the uh, the back of the, uh, the pack? You know, let them pull you around the track and learn as much as you can? I think that you need to be pushing for the lead to learn as much as you can because you're going to have to make a pass at some point if you want to win this thing. So you just need to be constantly passing, drop back in the pack, learn how it is to drive in dirty air. you got to try to learn how it is to drive in air. Ooh, slinky way off the track there. Oh, that was almost a moment there as Metz has now caught Tucker now, and the sun is about to set on the racetrack. But you just got to try to learn as much as you can while you can before it comes to the end of this thing. See Mets go to the top lane, looking for some speed up there. Looks like they're going to meet off exit. Zito Nito drops up and is going to pull Rashad Mets to the lot, to into the uh, into the chicane here. Here's a view from the back bumper of Javen Tucker's car. As the track, the track lights are now starting to come out. We're about to do a little night racing for a little while see that beautiful Florida sunset uh, over top of the, uh, the sacred barrier in the catch. Oh, we got a pass for the lead going to turn one. Here goes Metz to the inside. Oh, he cuts him off. Breaks red hot out of those cars. Oh, Tucker. Some contact made, I believe. Look at that. Into turn side one. Side by side, locking the brakes. Just couldn't get the space he needed. Yeah. And he spun the car. That's an unfortunate series of events. That's going to spread out the top three here. 
a little bit more as Slinky's actually starting to catch the leaders. But look ahead, going back out on the racetrack as you saw in that wide view there. The group four class is just now getting on the oval. So the LMP class is catching the group four class really fast. Oh, Slinky, Slinky off the track. LMP cars are having some trouble. Rashad Metz had an issue earlier. Slinky had an issue and Tucker had an issue, so. You're, you're seeing a lot of drivers go into turn three. Uh, you know what? The turn three is a little tricky. It's, uh, it's a lot tighter than what it looks. A lot of drivers are, you know, especially side by side, really trying to make up ground. Uh, they're, they're, they're driving too deep in the corner and they're losing it going to the grass. The sun is just about completely set here in Daytona. Four laps into the main event. Mets is back out front by a, a good number of car lengths as they are battling hard here for second place. Demigod's actually still got the lead for this group four class. Johnson's in second, close behind a Collier. But as we take a look back from Nicholas Collier, look at what you see in the distance. The LMP cars are growing closer and closer each lap. Yeah, this will be the first time you really see the, the speed difference between these cars up close as well as how these cars interact on track. Now, the way the ruling works is that the slower cars have the right of way on the racing line. It is up to those LMP cars oh. to safely make a pass around them. But you see Rashad, Rashad Metz trying to make pass. a move. They are racing hard in that Group 4 class. Will Slinky and them be able to get through? This is going to be a tough one because the Group 4 cars are having a hell of a battle. Oh, he gets in the grass. Blinky oh, it. big David moment. Tucker multiple cars off the track. And they're waving a yellow flag. A big wreck. That's a full course caution here. Whoa. What did we just watch? We had. Oh, my goodness. A lot of drive. Ooh, Tucker tried to get in there to get past them through four cars and it ended up causing a lot of issues and cars to go around. Looked like it started back with Demi God just driving, like we said, a little bit too hard into the corner. Tried to over, uh, overdrove it, tried to outbreak everybody. Miles Johnson, great entry, great exit, runs in the back of Demi God. LMP cars are right there. There's nowhere for him to go. Hits the back of the rest of the pack. Everybody yeah, that was just a, a too many cars to be trying to go through that one corner. Look at the Look at the car. Yeah, look at Tucker trying to sit in there. Oh, and everybody just follows Tucker right off the racetrack. That is a, a massive pile up there on lap five. His slinky showing a little frustration there with the 99 of Tucker. As we are actually going to be under caution here, the first full course caution here. Slinky has a little issue there with the wall. So now with the sun going down and the temperature of the track changing, uh, do you think that has something to do with the, the caution? No, I think that's just, I mean, that's the first time that we've ever seen that many cars going to a corner at once. This is a very narrow racetrack on the road course parts of this track. So just for like three, four, five cars like we just saw trying to battle it out in one corner, that's not going to work because you have cars going 20 mile an hour faster while the slower cars are side by side racing. So it was just an unfortunate series of events with those faster cars trying to get past and ended up in a caution. We're going to go green flag racing here. We are back underway in the 30 minutes of Daytona. Hey, Miles, you know what we haven't done in a while? I think it's time for a GTO crank it up. Uh, let's do it. A GTO crank it up. Come back, because Nicholas Collier just spun around there, going into turn one. What, what what a perfect time as we hear tires screeching going into turn one. Let's take a look as we see good run coming through. Just just over Ooh, anxious. Ooh, slipped it, it in up. there three wide and locked her up to avoid causing more contact. And 
see as they come into turn one. He has a big, big deal of speed. Just couldn't get the line he wanted. Tried to make it three wide. Nowhere to go. And thankfully, he didn't go into the pits or his, uh, he'd have a, a very, very unfortunate night. He's the top two here in the group four class are going to keep hard. Ooh, some contact there between the two. But look, whoa, look at this race happening for the lead. Man, nose to tail, alt first to third. We've got a lot of really good racing on this track tonight. Good racing in both classes so far. Not even halfway through, but we have plunged into the night. And the racing style sure is heating up, even though the sun has gone down. The drivers taking multiple lanes throughout the race, just trying to figure out, you know, which lane works best for them, who they can draft with, come to that last lap. Yeah, they go down the back straight away. Ooh, three cars going to the chicane at once. Slinky's going to back out. So is Jave and Tucker and them just trying to avoid some contact. These drivers all have a lot of skill and for the most part have been been driving pretty well. They're all used to driving with each other. We've got a lot of excellent racing, a lot of tight racing as well. So we see him come to the line. Tucker's going to lead that lap. Still knows the tail, switching positions in the back. Ooh, whoa, Mets just hit the, the pits, pit around. wall barrels. If we take a look at this again. Yeah, he hit those barrels at the end of... Let's see if we can get a hood cam. And, oh, he got too close to those tires right there on the end of that pit got wall. Got a little too close. Racing side by side, hard racing the whole way. And just a little bit of bumping and banging, just a little bit too much. You can see he's about, they're about half, a, half a corner away. But the way Rashad Meth races... He'll be up there in that. And we have a battle back here in the, the group four class going down. Back to the front of that group four race. Three cars under a blanket now. Timmy God trying to hold him off. Trying to hold on to his lead here in the class as Collier's. Red hot out of Miles car. Trying to get past. Look at those rims on Nicholas Collier's car glowing red. Dive into turn two. Oh, we got a battle for lead. I don't know which one to watch. Ooh, into the chicane. Tucker's going to get her done. But here comes Slinky with the water what run. A, what a block there by Javen Tucker. As Slinky had a really good run coming out of the chicane. They're still battling hard back here. In the slower cars. You see Nicholas Collier backing up to the front bumper of his team owner, Miles Johnson, to try to help get a run as they get ready to approach into the uh, the faster portion of this race course. You see there they go on the bottom line. It looks like they're finally going to be able to get past Demi God there. Demi God did an excellent job of trying to hold him off. But Collier and Johnson showing their strength here early on the road course race. Real, really see the expertise out of these two drivers coming through right there. They waited for the right opportunity to make that pass. Demi God gets a little loose coming out of four or out of five. Johnson and Collier slide up. So we still got a good battle going on here for the lead. Tucker out front, Slinky close behind. Meds trying to make up the gap there as he runs a 7 tenth faster first sector. Metz is a going to the front. He's trying his fastest. You see Collier and Johnson side by side trying to side draft as Collier leads that lap of the group four class. He's going to turn one. Collier's going to take the front spot. Johnson's going to tuck in. Good exit here by Collier. Johnson's going to try a crossover. No good. As Demigod's still right there within striking distance. Trying to make a move here. I don't know what battle to watch. The lead one. Or this one back to back. Ooh, Demi got in the grass a little bit there. Mm -hmm. 
And look what's going back for these drivers. So they're starting to get closer to those group four cars again. Will the lap cars affect the race? Ooh, something happened to Slinky here. Let's try to find out what happened to Slinky. Oh, he just stopped on the racetrack. Oh, uh, I think he was on the apron. I don't know what happened here. Yeah, he was on the apron too much, and I believe the game reset him, actually. So that very much very, spreads very out. unfortunate break for Slinky. That very much spreads out all of the leaders, and this is the battle that's been ongoing for this entire race between the teammates Collier and Johnson. You know, these two really work well together on track, even over with the uh, within our Sylvia class in uh, the Strictly Stock Series. Um, they practice together, like I said, they're teammates, team owners, really good friends. They know how each other drive on the track. So some you know, some drivers may be intimidated by side-by-side -side racing here at a real course. These two, nah, not them. They are comfortable with it, they're using the side draft. Look at them side-by-side, side, this entire they corner. Using the side draft, really spreading themselves out from Demigod. So we go approach here in the chicane. Johnson lifts a little bit to let Collier get ahead. They, I think they've learned their lesson about going in there side by side. One thing we started to notice here is front half of the track, Collier's a little bit faster. Right about the time they come through turn five, Johnson lets or Collier lets Johnson go by, slingshots him through the chicane. Johnson uses that slingshot that Collier gives him to then slingshot past him out on the back half of the track, as we see. Johnson's leading through the trioval. Looks like he might get to lead a lap. But look back. Here comes the LMP cars. How are they going to be able to get past Tucker? Going to try to slip. Ooh, a little contact there with some of the Group 4 cars. Tucker's going to be able to slip past. Will Metz be able to get through? That might help Metz out to be able to get through. If he can get through him fast. Oh, he catches him at the wrong time. Oh, he spins oh, it no. that is not what Rashad Metz wanted at all right there yeah he just got in there with those group you see right there those group three cars or group four cars racing really hard and unfortunately spun out uh, I like that camera angle actually now we know Rashad Metz is one of the most fierce competitors in our league I think that's just one of those products of him just being a little bit over anxious, just trying to get past those cards to start cutting down the lead of Jaden Tucker right there. He was really, it's really difficult to try to plan out a pass to get past these slower cars here. As you see, Slinky's about to make his way past these slower cars. As the battle is still ongoing throughout these three cars. Shot there goes Metz. He's going to give Collier a bump draft. Right into the back of Bumper. Oh, give him Collier, Collier gets Collier loose. loose. That slows down Rashad Metz a little bit more. As Tucker is now able to pull away. Tucker going into turn three as Metz is going into the chicane. So a big separation between all three. is I believe they are racing side by side again. Here comes Magic Slinky in the LMP car to move around the outside to zoom past those group four cars that are still racing hard. These two, since the, the restart, have been locked nose to tail, you know, using the draft as much as they can, learning as much as they can as we are roughly halfway through this race. Here we go into turn one. Collier goes out a little wide. Here goes Johnson to the inside. He's got to run. What a battle going to the inf infield. here Johnson just really really being patient looking for that opportunity to make a pass on Collier just kind of letting him drag him through the uh, the front half of the course 
they lock up going to turn three. Yeah, they go through that second horseshoe as you see the LMP's car zoom past on the banking in the background. Johnson lunges in for the inside oh, and makes the pass. Pushes him a little wide. Side by side. Oh, Carl Nick's going to go. He, he saves, saves it. it, though. Able to get her back going. That's going to cause some more separation between the group four pack. As Tucker's out to a massive lead. Count where Shad makes out quite a just ran the race. fastest lap of the race a 128.6, and the fastest lap for the group four car is a 154, so they're about 30 seconds faster. <laughs> is it back to, to get some, some clean air on the nose of his BMW as Collier tucks in behind? We go here into lap. Getting ready to start lap number 10 for the group force. Collier makes a pass to the outside. You're side by side again. Collier getting a lot of flashbacks to the opening race for the Strictly Stock Series here. Trying to not make the same mistake again as, uh, as we get later into this race. These BMWs are putting on a hell of a show here. The LMPs are pretty spread out now throughout the racetrack. Some, a lot of mistakes, those are a lot faster cars, a lot easier to make mistakes. I think for the, for the LMP cars, it's not lack of talent. It's like you said, just a lot of mistakes, just a lot of bad luck for these drivers. Um, to the other side of that, these drivers are incredibly talented. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see them, you know, kind of close the gap as we get later in the race. See Johnson gonna try to go at it again. Coming out onto the banking. Johnson gets her to the inside. He's gonna be able to complete the pass though. He He's try to clear him. Here goes Collier with the side draft. These two have been side by side almost this entire race. You can really see how the driver development in Miles Johnson Motorsports has been working. It's absolutely incredible, the level of talent that's coming out of that, that, uh, that garage. Look at these two just having some fun out there. Here goes Johnson to the outside. Paul, you're trying to side draft. Get trying to side there. draft. Oh, they almost hooked each other. Tucker is still out to a massive lead as he goes through the chicane on the back straightaway. Shot Metz has shortened that lead a lot, actually, and Slinky starting to gain a little bit, too, as we go back to the battle in the Groove 4 series. Johnson kind of starting to figure out that turn one a little bit better as he's got a really, really close gap between him and Collier. Now side by side, approaching turn two. Collier's gonna cut the nose and get on the gas quick. It's fun to watch these cars whip it through the infield, the tight technical course here at the Daytona International Speedway. Over halfway through now in this 30 minute endurance race. When do you think it's gonna be go time for these drivers? As Rashad time. Metz has now caught lap traffic again. About, I said about two laps yeah. ago, about two minutes. Or Ooh, four Collier's minutes. into the wall. Collier's around. Let's see what happened. For the third time this race. Oh, Johnson got in there way too hot. Johnson just tried to overpower her. Oh, outbreak Collier going into that turn. Just couldn't figure, couldn't get the uh, the braking right. Unfortunately, was right there next to Collier and used him as a, as a brake. But Collier got it around. Back on the track, and they're going again. That's here. We got Metz making his way past the slower cars. Ooh, barely misses Johnson there. Slinky is now exiting the infield part of the road course. The good thing for Rashad Metz catching those slower cars 
on the faster part of the track is that he can still use the draft that those cars are producing to help increase his speed and decrease the time between him and J.B. Tucker. David Tucker out to a good lead with only around 10 to 12 minutes remaining in this race. Do you think David Tucker's starting to feel a little pressure, or do you think he's still keeping it calm and cool in there? I'd say he's probably got about maybe one lap or so before. As you can see, maybe not even this lap is Rashad Metz is now within striking distance of first place once again. See, Metz definitely cut down a lot of the lead. We got the battles back on again back here in the Crew 4 car. It'll be really interesting to see here as Collier and Johnson go in to turn four. Watch when they come out of turn five as Johnson's probably going to tuck in behind Collier, let him get through the chicane and make his pass on exit. As Slinky weaves his way through the group four cars. Oh, Johnson here to goes the Johnson to the inside. Side by side. If I'm Collier, I want to keep Johnson right there. Miles Johnson's got an earlier breaking point into that chicane, so if Collier can keep him to his quarter panel or behind him, he knows he can get through that chicane first and beat him off exit. As we see right here, Miles backs off as their nose to tail going through chicane. Here goes Miles on his move. Ooh, but look at the gap for the lead. Rashad Metz has got it down to about 10 car lengths now. Rashad Metz is running down the leader. He is tracking him down. As here's the view from the front bumper. He ran the fastest lap of the race last race. Look at the consistency. 128 one, 129.3, 129 flat, 128.6. Some really, really fast laps. While well, Javen Tucker's last lap, Javen Tucker's last lap was almost a sec, over a second slower than Rashad Metz. Rashad Metz is definitely starting to put some, as he runs a faster sector too. Tell you what, Metz is surely a driver that can perform under pressure as of right now when in the closing stage of this race as we're getting close to the morning time look at him he's still putting faster laps together it's absolutely incredible to watch what he can do behind the wheel of a vehicle no lead is truly safe when Rashad Matt is on the track he is reeling him in oh he's there going in the turn one knows the distance. tail now Oh, Tucker oh, hits the barrels! Tucker. Tucker is now in second place. That hands the, the lead pressure. off to Rashad Metz. He felt the pressure. Let's of take that a look at this. In black oh, man. You see, Metz used that slipstream to get within striking distance of Tucker going in the turn one. And Tucker cut her a little bit too close to try to take that line away from Rashad Metz. And ended up striking those barrels yeah if you're wearing the 99 gear out in the stands that is not at all what you want to see here in the closing stages of this race that's what magic slinky loves to see because he's been hung, hanging out back he's trying to get back up as we go back to the group four race which is they're still side by side after a ton of laps it feels like the same story different chapter every time we check in on this group four uh race these two are about as equal as they come when it comes to this car at this track. It's unbelievable what they've been able to side do. Side by side through the chicane. Race. See Johnson finally get the best of Collier coming through the chicane. Now it's Johnson's turn to pull Collier around to the start finish line. These two sure have been having at it. Demi God is falling a little bit off the pace. The car is a little bit more ill handling here in the longer run. Has been racing for a while now into the night. So we are side by side of the line. Collier is going to lead that lap for the group four. 
class. There's going to be about two laps to go. Oh, Johnson, Johnson hits, hits, the, the tires. hits the tires. Those tires have been tirelessly grabbing cars off the racing surface tonight. If you're Collier right here, you see Johnson hit the tires, but bounce back almost immediately. That's not you, – you get excited to see the uh, the competitor behind you, uh, you know, at distance, but then you, you kind of get the wind sucked out of your sails and you see them close that distance right back. Yeah, they're trying really hard to still battle us out. Johnson now catching back up. Ooh, his Collier makes a mistake going into that turn. But he's right back into it. Shot Mets actually coming up on some lap traffic here. Johnson side hanging around side. the outside. I got to watch that one again. I believe he did. We go side by side into turn five. Ooh, there's a crossover by the Nicholas crossover Collier. Right there. But Johnson's going to hang her out to the outside. Side by side, a little contact there. Neither one of these competitors willing to give an inch. They don't care that they're teammates. Collier doesn't care that Johnson's the car owner. They are both hungry for a road course victory tonight. As Rashad Metz is giving a push to Demigod. Ooh, but look at the horizon, Nick. It's getting a little brighter. That track's going to start getting a lot hotter. These cars are going to get a little bit faster. And with Rashad giving Demigod that push, he's also allowing the competition behind him to catch up and close that gap as we get in here with about two to go. And the sun is coming up. It's about to be morning time here at Daytona Beach as Metz is going to try to slip his way past these two battling group fours. He does it easily through the trial. As we got these two battling hard still. Tucker needs to get past these guys as quickly as possible. Oh, he hits the back of Johnson's car. But he's now going to slip past. Not the turn Javen wanted. As Javen's actually closing in a lot of time on the leader. Will he be able to catch up to Rashad Metz before this thing is over with? No, he hit, he hit that group four group at the exact spot he wanted. Again, even though it was in the corner, he was on a straight chest, was able to use the draft to slingshot himself past the slower cars and close the gap on Metz. And the sun is coming up. The track's a lot to get, about to get a lot more hotter and slicker. So let's see who's going to be able to pull this one off. Rashad now out to a very narrow lead. Tucker is there. Going to be a, about a lap to go here as we come to the closing stages. And the sun's up. The track is slick. And those group four cars are still door to door racing my what a clinic these two have put on this entire race side by side racing the entire time who is going to be able to pull this one out through the chicane the sun is up here in daytona good morning to all of our viewers because the faster car of slinky past these two is Javen Tucker is now within striking distance of the leader. Oh, a little contact yes. there. There's Matt's a little bump, trying to get a little crossover. Nothing doing. Rashad holding tight. Rashad is in the spot he wants to be. He's, he's in front. We're waiting for the white flag to come around. And if I'm, if I'm Javen Tucker, I'm That's I'm going to be the final the, lap. This is going to be the final lap for everyone, I believe. This will be the final lap for the group fours. Nose the tail. Johnson out front. Will Collier be able to make a move before he gets to the line? No, he won't. Johnson's going to win at a road course and win the Group 4 class here at Daytona. But now we're going to go back to your leaders. Metz out to a narrow lead over Javen Tucker. Who's going to be able to bring it home? Javen Tucker desperately doing everything he can to wrestle the car around the track and secure a victory in the first LMP race for the GTO Online League. Here he goes. These cars have been duking it out. Tucker lagged behind a little bit in that turn five. has been uh, not the best for him. 
all race, but here he is trying to get a run to the final chicane for one last time. Matthew is breaking there. into the chicane. Javen Tucker, right where he wants to be. Will he be able to get the run? He's about 10 car lengths behind. I don't think he's going to be able to get the run in time. Off a of turn four. There's the leaders. Nose the tail now. Tucker's getting a run. But it's going to be Rashad Metz. Rashad Metz wins the first LMP race in the GTO League. Javen Tucker is going to bring her home second. And Magic Slinky, after a lot of issues, is going to bring her home to round off the podium in the LMP, LMP class as he cuts through the grass to go get that fast lane. He figured if, uh, if he can't win the race, he might as well win the burnout competition. Rashad Metz is your winner in the LMP class. And Miles Johnson brings her home in the Groove 4 class. What a race we saw here today. Yeah, it was it was exciting action packed racing from the drop of the green flag. You couldn't ask for anything better out of the first trial run of our exhibition multi class series here in the GTO League. And that was a lot of fun to watch. Uh just battles throughout the LMP LMP class and the group four class. That was just awesome race to watch. Uh, do you think that we should make this into a series in the future? I think so. I think it was very interesting. You know, it, it added added a lot of complexity, uh, and I thought you got a lot of more closer racing as you do the split there. Uh, a lot of action regardless, and it, uh, it added a, a, a complexity and a little bit more challenge for our drivers. And that was a blast to watch. Thank you, Nick, for joining me tonight in the commentary views or booth. Thank you to all of our viewers out there on YouTube. If you like this race, let us know in the comments or hit us up on Instagram at the Grand Turismo Online League. And let us know if you want us to run some more of these multi-class races. Let us know if you want to join. It's free to join. you got to go through some tests first, but we will let you join the field. Thank you again for watching this race tonight uh, Rashad Metz is your winner here in the LMP class and Miles Johnson is your winner in the group four class good night that is your conclusion of the 30 minutes of Daytona so long